All right, let's get some puck marks on these. So some new gear, it's always a good day. You got the mug, gloves, stock, and uh, Hyperlite 2 stock pads. Finally some fresh gear. So blocker usually I have the mock, but glove and pads are different than my own specs. Difference on the glove is the open wrist and the thicker pocket. The pads are thin, light. They have like a creepy knee block and a little stiffer knee block. They feel like they sit more on my skate than sink in. Nope. It's a nice hard blocker. Toe. RVA just nice and easy to find on these. The stiff boot. That's it. Nothing there. Knob. Right where it needs to be. There it is, one knee down. Another one. Nice and easy to get off the reverse. All right, let's test out the rebound. Come off pretty hard. Check this out. Got a little hybrid in them too. All right, two puck to finish off. Yes. This blocker is pretty marked up for a first skate. Gloves working. Oh, come on. Off the knee and in. Yes, my lightsaber. Some nice new stiff pads. The knee stays finished table. Even though I'm missing the professor strap. Again. Oh, doesn't count, doesn't count. I told she wrote, first skate in two weeks. Not good, not good. You know I'm all about look good, feel good, play good with the help of Manscaped, who is also the sponsor of today's video. With the holidays coming up, I put together a couple of my favorite products that are must-haves for me from Manscaped. To start with the legendary lawnmower. They've upgraded to the 5.0, still has the same skin-safe technology, 
LED light, it's waterproof, and it comes with the three heads so you know you're getting the right length every time. And the best part, the biggest upgrade is the foil head that will give you the closest shave you've ever gotten. Moving on to the body buffer, comes with the body wash, and this thing is nice. It won't miss a spot. And low key, my favorite Manscaped product, the shears. They've upgraded to the 3.0, sized especially for men, so you don't have to steal your girlfriends or your wives or your mom's nail clippers anymore. And to round it all out, we got the Manscaped Refined brand new cologne, guaranteed a good present. So head over to manscaped.com, use the code CAS, K-A-C, for 20% off and free international shipping, and join over 9 million men using Manscaped. Let's start with this. You probably noticed, new tape job on the mask. Uh, I did the straight lines on the silver. This normal vinyl holds up way better than the carbon fiber if you watched my how to tape a goalie mask video. So uh, this is just kind of, I learned from my mistakes, upgraded, and this has turned out really well. It's holding up great. Looks simple, looks cool. But let's move on to these guys. As a free agent, you don't get new gear and it's been almost a year since i've gotten a fresh set of gear i just want to thank bauer for helping me out getting me some fresh gear uh, even though it's stock models of the mock gloves and the hyperlite 2 pads it's still new gear and i needed it before mine broke down so big thanks to bauer for helping me out let's start with the gloves everything is free agent colors as well which i appreciate um, so the glove is the basic mock and it's the Supreme family, which is kind of what my glove is. Mine is like an older 2S construction with a thinner pocket up here, which I feel like opens up the pocket a little bit more than this one. So when you're presenting, the pockets open a little bit. Um, so that was something I had to get used to. And even though this one is the same construction, same Supreme family, I felt like I had to hold my glove down a little bit it was more natural to tilt it down a little bit if that makes sense i was holding it kind of where i usually like to keep it i was getting burnt on low shots and once i made that adjustment i was still able to get up and i think the biggest thing is the strapping how it is an open wrist it's great mobility uh, but i kind of like to have the old school strap right here just kind of giving me the stability uh, but yeah, this thing moves really well. Still been an adjustment period since I've had the gear for about two weeks now. So I'm slowly getting used to this one, but glove is such a huge part of my game and I need to feel comfortable on the glove I have. And this is not quite the perfect glove for me, but it's something I'm able to build up on and fresh glove is always nice. The blocker is the same I used last season. Uh, pretty much a stock muck blocker. Only thing I did with this one is I cut one of these uh, strings here that pull this protection down since I have the trigger grip and I was holding it like this. So I was pulling this one a little bit too much um, back, putting my index finger up. So it still brings it back nicely. And like I said, I used this last season. One thing I noticed, like when it's a brand new blocker, I was getting those warm up shots pucks were flying off of this thing. It's nice and light, good stability. And like I said, just the pucks are flying. Rebounds, nice hard and light blocker. So let's move on to the pads. I got the Hyperlite 2. The biggest thing why I chose the Hyperlite over the Mox is the knee block. In the Mox, everything is built in. So this thing doesn't move at all. It's built in. And when I demoed the Mox a couple years ago, I had problems when I went down, the pad would not give out this way at all. So it would stay here, it would kind of push my mobility back or my balance. And even on the reverse, I like to lean over my pads and the pad was not letting me do that. So this one has a little bit of flex, just enough for me to be, be comfortable in the pad. One thing I don't like the knee block is that they added this kind of sticky rubber here. So when I went down the first couple times, I feel like my knee and my knee guards were getting stuck in positions I didn't like. The leg channel has a sliding material that I wish they used on this one, uh, but that's just a personal preference. When I go down, I like to have a lot of mobility. Like I said, the traditional knee block that I have moving around, but this one, when I went down, I felt like my knee was getting 
stuck in the position I landed. And some guys might like it, but for me, I like to move around. So I felt like the answer to that was doing my knee a little bit looser. It gave me more freedom on the knee to kind of go wherever it needs to go. Other than that, it's a very thin and a light pad. The lightest pad I've ever felt, I think. And uh, you can just see the profile here is very thin all the way through. It's a very minimal strapping. I like to have the professor strap here to kind of keep my knee in, but maybe with the rubber here, it would not have worked. This part surprised me. The inner calf strap, where you strap it is very thin and small, but like that's the thing, like you wanna just minimalize all the product, all the fabrics, all this kind of stuff to make the pad lighter and looser. And I put it on, I was a little skeptical at first, but it actually works great. It holds. This part, especially being up higher here, like I said, no professor strap, but this one kind of does the job of the professor strap, keeping my knee in. And this one just, you know, good flex on the strap keeping my, my leg close to the pad, and then this one kind of wrapping it down below, lower on the calf, keeping, keeping things controlled. So very light pad and plays very mobile. This power gear is great. I'm just going off my personal preferences and my custom specs of how I like my pads. And uh, I feel like I'm able to give good insight on what my gear is and why I like that and why this is different and why you might like this one or you might not like this one. So just things to keep in mind and also worth the check, the Hyperlite gloves, since these are mocks and they also have the mock pad. So you can kind of mix and match of the different specs that you like. Last thing about the pads is the straight boot. Um, I have a little bit of a channel where my skate sinks in. I kind of like, the traditional old school I'm not that old but that feeling of the pad kind of being in your leg uh, this one raises the pad up which I know a lot of guys like and when it actually raises it up it actually is easier to hit the reverse on these so that's definitely something I'm gonna keep in mind and keep testing and seeing how I feel about it moving forward probably when I it is when it is time to punch in an order for a new set, if this is something that I want. But so far the first couple weeks, definitely with the glove playing around, seeing where, where I'm comfortable with it and the pads and making those adjustments is that what parts do I like and what parts work? And like, if I eliminate one, would the other one work and all this kind of stuff. So uh, it's definitely fun to try new gear and that way like test if there is something that I like and wanna switch to a new set of gear. But without keeping this too long, I just wanted to go over like some of the stock specs and talk about the things I like about them or don't like about them. And hopefully that helps you kind of see how different specs play out on the ice as well. I'm a big goalie nerd, so it's always fun to test out new gear. And the biggest thing for me was getting a, getting a fresh set of gear after after almost a year. I, I really needed it and getting it in some, some free agent colors as well. But big thanks to Bauer once again. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't done that yet for, uh, for some future videos. I have a lot of mic'd up practices here from being a free agent. So hopefully, hopefully get a team soon and start playing some games because I miss that. I miss that a lot.